So if you are bored with normal stock Android rooms, then there is something new for you. This is .OS, but this room has always been unique than other rooms and now is available for Android 11. So in this video, we are going to review this and I will let you know what kind of features this one provide and also I will show you how to install this on your phone. So let's get started. So .OS is very old and famous room and it's always known for its unique design and its unique features. Now this room was not available for almost one year and now they are back with their new update which is .OS 5 based on Android 11. So to explain how unique this room is, I just installed this and I didn't customize anything. Still just have a look how this quick setting looks. It's transparent, even the brightness slider is different. This room by default comes with this theme pre-installed. So the icons you get in this quick setting, the same icons are implemented in this setting menu. Now let's just go to about, this is .OS 5, this is GAPS version, it means it comes with Google Apps, so you don't need to install any separate GAPS file. The security patch is the latest 5th February and the kernel here is custom kernel called .OS Plus. So if you install this room, you get this .OS Plus kernel, which is really good for gaming and battery life. So as soon as you enter in this customization tab, you will see how neatly it's distributed. For example, here you will find your all the wallpapers. Here your lock screen and always on display customization. Here status bar customization and at the very end you get this launcher grid. When you tap on that, you can easily select your launcher's grid by selecting these small dots. Overall feel and vibe of this room is completely different and you will feel that as soon as you install this room. I mean just have a look at these themes. The amount of themes you get in this room is insane. You can completely redesign each and every corner of your phone. New accent colors, new fonts, new icon size, new icons, you name it. Everything is available in this theme section. Now let's go to status bar customization. You can hide your battery percentage, you can hide your clock, you can enable network traffic monitor and look at the way you can choose your battery icon. In additional features, you can enable your torch while holding your power button. And one of the most irritating thing about Android that whenever you reboot, you always have to use your fingerprint. By tapping here, you can disable that. So apart from these, there are plenty of other features. And when it comes to stability, this room is by far the most stable Android 11 room out there. If you don't root .OS, then you can easily use any banking or payment apps. Even after rooting, you might be able to use, but there is no guarantee. By default, this room comes non-rooted. If you want to root, you can install latest Magis 21. And also, don't worry about the updates because you get inbuilt OT updater. So whenever there is new update, you will get a notification and you can update easily. Now let's talk about the battery life. You will get slightly better battery life compared to other rooms. I got around 8.5 hours of screen time. The charging speed is just like any other room. Overall, I would say if you are installing your first Android 11 room, then install this one because then you don't need to change to any other room because you get features, outstanding gaming performance and battery life. And now I will show you how to install this on your phone. So first of all, you need to download these three files. Make sure you download them from description box below. Once you download them, put them in your internal storage. Now reboot your phone to recovery. I'm using Orange Fox, you can use any recovery you want like TWRP. So once you are in recovery, go to wipe and wipe everything except internal storage. Now go to install and locate this .os zip file. So with this .os zip file, you also install these two small zip files. Otherwise your phone might not boot. Once everything is done, right swipe to install. The first boot might take around 5 minutes. So that's it for today and like this video if you appreciate my work. And I will see you tomorrow.